Silly Hillman here, Halloween, Big D and the Kids Table Show, and I am so excited to welcome the Sonic Boom Sticks to America. What's up, everybody? Hey, how are you silly? For those people that live under a rock, why don't you introduce yourself so everybody knows who you are? Uh, I'm, I'm Layla from Sonic Boom Sticks. What uh, is up? Yeah. I'm Barney Bean. He's a silly Hillman. I'm Nick the Blade Horn. I'm Mr. Benjamin Boom. And uh, Neil is absent. Not sure where he is. There he is. Oh, here he comes. There he, comes. Yeah. There he comes. He's looking out. He's looking out. So you guys, a lot about you, silly. I must say as well, you're looking <laughs> fresh with the Ed Hardy on that. Like, oh. oh yeah, you know, I'm rocking Ed Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> You guys looking forward to touring America for a little bit? Get out of England, do your thing? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. It's actually funny because uh, some friends of mine and friends of yours, the B Union, are actually heading back to England after being here for a year. Yeah, oh, okay. a year. So they send you guys a message, so let's go right now and see the message. Hey, while you're here, hey, while you're here, what do you want to say to the Sonic Boom 6? Guys, I here, Xbox. Night B Union in Boston. Hope you guys are gonna have a good time. You know what? You guys are fucking badass. I've been checking out your website and checking out what the fucking shit's going on back at home. You guys are fucking badass. Hey! And high five, brother. Motherfucker! <laughs> So what do you guys want to say to Aid? Aid, well, Big up Aid! Easy Aid. I remember Aid always said boom, and we gave him a boom t-shirt. So I know that one of his phrases was boom, so I think that, that was inspirational to us. It always was. And I like to see the fact that, even though he's been in America for a while, he's not lost that it's, it's like the Wild Heart song, Turning American. Yeah. yeah. Turning American. Lady will never turn American. He used to be an Englishman. Yep. Halloween, it's your first Halloween in America. It's, uh, it's actually my first Halloween ever, it, like in England. The, yeah, you guys don't do it. Well, I'm sure, you know, maybe some people do. You get some common children knocking on your eyes yeah, yeah. sweet. Halloween when we were kids was literally knocking on people's door and you'd say trick or treat. Um, if, if, you know, they said treat. I remember one year, I remember one year, I went to a treating with my dad and um, and the person didn't have any treats and so my dad was like, oh, like walked through their house with their dirty shoes on and they just recarpeted the whole house, <laughs> just just recarpeted the whole house and like and my dad got in so much trouble with my mom. Like, I'm surprised! Yeah, just, just, I love the way the Americans uh, celebrate Halloween. We get green. Green with envy. You're at the right spot too, because Big D, Big D is they're the ones that hold in Boston the annual Halloween show. This is like number 13. They don't mess around. They've got an Edward, Edward Gorey um, style T-shirt and everything. There's always been something a bit Halloween. Oh, yeah. So uh, what else is going on with you guys? What are your plans for while you're here? How, you're going to be in New York tomorrow with the Void Union, some friends of mine. They're actually playing tomorrow and they're going to drive down. Rich from Westbound Train. It's a band that he's also in. Oh, gee, always Rich. Rich is trying to great band. Every time, like, Rich, I'd be with Rich, he'd be like, dude, you gotta hear this band Sonic Room 6, and now here we are, so thanks, Rich. Yeah. And Thad's walking around, and he's around. Love that, too. So, yeah, what we do, we're gonna fly to LA in two days, and then, uh... We're gonna play the gig in New York, and then fly to LA that night. 
And you guys will be back November 22nd. Yeah, yeah, right? we're going to I'm going to be there. Boston Jolly Pirates are my boys. Tony was just oh, on stage with Big yeah. Lick. Oh, cool. But, yeah, yeah, we're going to go and try and go to the Grand Canyon before that as well. There you go, that's we're cool. We're going to go Taliban. We're going to go and flirt with the West Coast and the South and then come back. Come back what would you say? Long. Sorry to interrupt you. But <laughs> what would you say to kids out there that are just starting out, that are trying to get their band's music out there? What's some influences, advice? Grit your teeth. Grit your teeth and back through. <laughs> Keep an open mind. Be unique. Yeah. Be unique. Yeah. Don't be, follow the fashion. Be, that's right. Be a Don't follow the trend because if you make the trend, then it'll all drop exactly. and you'll be there. In the word, in the word. And have a good mindset. If you page. invent yourself, you'll never go out of fashion. Don't don't make a song on a drum machine and think you can have a band like it's just you and a drum machine. Yeah, no, don't make t-shirts before you've got a good record. Stickers though. <laughs> you make word, stickers. That's the, my advice. Infamous words uh, from books from the toasters. Don't let the bastards find you down. That's right. Very wise, very wise. Like, I really enjoy, like, listening to your music. You guys definitely have, like, a ska root, but you guys are, like, expanding it by bringing the hip-hop in it, and I really enjoy listening to that. What are some of your influences that made you take, like, the ska and reggae and kick it up a notch and do something a little different? Well, bands like Backbrain, you know, like, punk, like, essentially punk up the reggae album. I don't know, Rage Against Machine, uh, hip-hop. Yeah. Okay, in terms of ska bands, though, um, not really. Ska core, like Mike Mike Boston. Mike Mike Boston is definitely. And you're in Boston. Oh, yeah. The Middle East, no less. The Middle East, yeah. that's so right. I know that this, the specials is, and the clash. Specials, I love the specials. The specials and the clash are the root for us. We see ourselves as, even, you know, even though we might not have the same kind of um, sounding, you know, platform as they have. We see ourselves as a band that's in the, in the tradition of what they did, which was to mix, you know, different underground music and dance music with punk music. And we just see we're doing what they did in an updated way. So the Clash were never scared of adding hip hop and adding the reggae and adding the dub. And the Specials were never scared of adding ska and, you know, reggae. And we're not scared of adding whatever comes our way within, you know, recent times to the whole punk thing. But, Scar's just in there with everything else for us, with hip hop, with reggae, with dub, you know, with jungle, and you know, all these sounds we've grown up with, and dance and clubs that we mixing that with punk rock, so. Alright, so just a couple more questions before we go in and check out Big D. By the way, I got my Big D pin on. Yes, yes. Right. So, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do an advert for Big D? You got it. You got to. You got to buy this. You got to. You got to <laughs> buy this. This amazing, amazing uh, remix album they've just made. And the main reason you got to buy it is because I'm on it. The first two tracks. So if you like the first two tracks, the first two remixes, then check us out on our MySpace and get to know us. And why don't you tell everybody like your MySpace? the address and where you're going to be playing for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's Give my, us some spots. MySpace.com forward slash Sonic Boom 6 and 6 is spelled but not Boom America. Um, yeah, so we're going to be in California for about a week and we're going to go over to Las Vegas and then Texas, Florida. Death and Valley. Death, Death Valley, yeah. Oh, and you all meet. El Paso. And uh, any favorite bands that you guys play with in America that you want to shout out so we can send them to them and say hi? Who New Glow Schools, The Toasters, Chase Long Beach, Big D and the Kids Table, Flaming Tsunamis, we've got to send a shout out to. Um, there's another band on the line, we play Pilfers, there we go. Yeah, November 22nd. Hi, Tasters, Wild yes, Tomorrow, yes. Um, and. We were supposed to be playing with the, the Kids Table. Which, uh, so Who is cool. it in San Diego? That we play with. No, that we're gonna play with. Chaser. Chaser. Chaser? Well, any, the, the Fad were an awesome band, an awesome US band, and they just split up very, very, very recently. Yeah, it's so just this last R.I.P. Like to yeah. the Fad and Jimmy, and they were ah, and front of it. Front of it, front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so high fives, everybody. High fives. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. You might want to watch yourself after that because a lot of girls have kissed Silly Go Man. Yeah. For the Sonic Boom 6, I am Silly Go Man, and we are Vapor. But, hey.